Hey everyone, this is a quick look uh, at the 35 millimeter Mike Super 35 format cine lens. I've owned a few of the Mike Micro Four Third line of cine lenses, and I've always been impressed with their build quality and performance for the price. Now they've come out with a Super 35 format line, and the 35 millimeter T2.1 is the first one of that line to be released uh, and available for purchase. I got mine in PL mount, but they also come in EF mount. They're very well built and have a solid all metal design, just like the uh, Micro Four Third line. 35 millimeter consists of 12 elements in 10 groups and have a standard 77 millimeter front filter thread and standard 0.8 gears. It weighs in about 940 grams. I didn't shoot focus charts or do any clinical testing for chromatic aberration or edge sharpness, so this isn't really a detailed review as much as it is a first impression from practical experience using it on set. As far as performance, uh, it has exceeded my expectations so far. I find that the 35 millimeter to have good contrast, good color rendition and saturation. I mean, it's hard to believe how much lens you get these days for the price. The lens retails for about $540. Uh, and for a Super 35 lens, a Cine lens, a true Cine lens, I think that's a pretty good deal. I've only used it on a few shoots so far, but it's definitely proved to be able to deliver great images. We're kind of seeing uh, a lot of new Cine lens manufacturers into the space lately. Uh, and with that, the barrier of entry price-wise has become much better for filmmakers everywhere. Uh, that's always a good thing. Uh, I think the next release for the Super 35 line for Mikey is a 24 millimeter T2.1. I believe that's the next one out. They've also started a full frame line of lenses as well. The full frame 50 millimeter T2.1, I believe is the only one that's available right now. I'll be doing a quick look on it soon because I also own it. So look for that video coming up. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.